Hey everyone, it's Eileen from Now There's a Crafty Idea and I'm here with a little a little craft with me. Um, and I've been watching, like I, I love watching all the other YouTubers, and I was watching the Paper 8 post and she came up with this idea of making four tickets out of um, scrapbooking paper. And I thought, what a great idea. She drew her tickets on, but I have the, um, the actual set from Tim Holtz. The, it's called... I don't know I don't know what it's called ticket booth it's called um, and you get it with the die cuts um, and which is how I make my tags I just cut them out with the die cuts but the, this way is great because you're getting a continuous line and it's on scrapbooking card so it's quite thick so I quite like that and I thought wouldn't they make lovely belly bands and um, lovely little tuckings and nice bookmarks um, you could use them to edge pockets, all sorts of different things. So I thought I would make some. Um, I've got a few bits and pieces here, some scrapbook card. Um, oh, not that one. Put them ones aside because I don't want them ones. But I've got these ones anyway. And I just these are just out of one of my books. And I thought they're, they're plain enough that they're not going to be too confused with the stamp over the top. Um, and they'll make lovely belly bands for the going to future journals. So anyway here we go <laughs> these are two that I've already made and decorated and they're just cute and they're very easy to decorate it doesn't take much um, you don't even have to decorate them because they look quite nice the way they are but if you want to add an extra decoration then that's fine and um, by putting the decoration at the top this can be used as a bookmark or you could have it sticking out the top of your journal which would look quite nice I mean I'll just show you in my notebook if you pop it in there that's going to be sticking out the top of your journal it's going to look lovely so I quite like that um, and then obviously this one would make a lovely belly band oh, listen to those birds <laughs> a lovely belly band to go into the book uh, into a junk journal so I'm going to pop those aside and we'll get started it's very noisy today <laughs> the birds are not happy <laughs> and I'll tell you why we've got a um, kestrel <laughs> Now this is a very unusual situation because um, kestrels, they're not, they're not a rare sight um, where we live but in urban areas they most definitely are a rare sight and I'm suspecting that it's, it's come this far inland because it is, um, you know with the lockdown and everything, everything's been very quiet. I'm just quickly going to measure these, I think I can't remember, oh, I to cut them at four. So we'll cut these at four. Try and get them lined up nicely. There we go. So the kestrel's been flying around and the pigeons and the magpies have been going crazy because obviously they don't want a, um, a kestrel flying about. We have owls because they live in the church um, just behind our houses. Um, but obviously they hunt at night and the birds are already asleep and they go after bells rather than chicks. Um, but the, <laughs> this kestrel has been a cheeky little Charlie and has been coming after the chicks in the nest. So you can imagine the birds are not happy. There's been some spectacular scraps happening in the trees. <laughs> I've been watching them and thinking, oh my word. <laughs> serious, they seriously go for each other. I'm very... Magpies especially, you know, they're not frightened of anything. <laughs> so I've got them cut. Now obviously these are too long to be belly bands. So let's see, how long are they? Um, do you know what, I'm lost without me, me wooden rule. Because we want them nine inches, don't we? So there's six. You're laughing at me, but I can't, it's like, oh, trying to figure it all out in centimetres and that. <laughs> um, seven, eight, nine. So it'll be about there. I'm just going to put a little indent so I can see, and then I'm just going to quickly snip that, and that can be my. And then this bit at the end, I can make into an individual tag, and it's quite easy to do. Right there we go. So we'll use that as a template of sorts, and I'm going to cut these all to to about nine which is, is a bit too long for a belly band but you can always trim a little bit off the bottom actually no it needs to be eight and a half doesn't it yes let me just think about this let me just think about this um 
that's six, seven, eight and a half. So I've lost my pencil as well. I know what you're thinking, I'm always losing stuff. I am, you're right. There we go. Okay. But I'm, I'm terrible I'm for, for losing stuff, I really am. There we go, that's better. Eight and a half. Now they'll be big enough for belly bands. But if we wanted to, we could always um, make them into other things just by cutting them down. So I'm going to keep these ones and we'll still use them. Now these ones, the ones I've got left, I reckon if we cut these to... What are they measuring? The 30. So if we cut them to 15, that should be 6 inches. Yeah. So if we go down to... So that's 15. I'm just working this out in my head, guys. Sorry. <laughs> 15. Half. So if I do them at 13 and a half, that should be about 5 inches. And then that's perfect for a, a pocket. So we'll do them at 15 because we can always, you know, they don't have to be exact. Actually, that should make, yeah. perfect <laughs> and then these ones I might leave long and see how we go so if this is a nice simple craft like I say there's nothing like there's there's no brain surgery involved <laughs> it's just a case of get your stamp which I've lost <laughs> I'll put my book on top of it that's fine <laughs> so I've picked out this stamp um, it's just like um, a theatre stamp, so, and I just like the size of it. And I've got the um, the black. Excuse me, while I just go a drink. It's incredibly hot today. <laughs> I've got the black um, pigment ink stamp from Hobbycraft. I mean, you don't have to use black. It's you know, it's whatever colour you want, really. So I'm not gonna bother about trying to be too perfect because if you've noticed whenever you get one of these type of tickets they, they never are that perfect they're always kind of stamped skew if but we should I'm trying to judge how many we'll get on here I think we're going to be stuck with three but that's fine Three's enough, even though it's going to give you a lot of space between them, it's still going to look good. Yeah, and if I use a different size stamp, I can do different sizes. So let's just get a couple of these ones done and then we can get these finished because these will be perfect for just slotting in. And because it is card, you know, you don't need to back it. Um, this is not a double sided pattern, so it's quite blank on the other side. And yes, I could run the single ones through the, um, the circuit cut, but, you know, while I'm doing this, I'll just do them like this. This is the reason I'm not using the, the cutting templates, because like I said, you, you get one, oh crikey, you get one stamp, um, and you don't get the continuous strip, and uh, it's the continuous strip that we're after. That one might be a bit smudged. Oh no, it's alright, okay. I did have a smaller printing block, um, stamping block, but uh, yeah, you can guess it. I lost it. <laughs> it's somewhere in the bottom of a box. <laughs> I, I, I swear down, I am not tidying up ever again, because since I tidied up the craft room, I can't find anything. It's all too organised. I'm used to chaos. <laughs> I know how to work with chaos. <laughs> I know how to do that. Right, I'm just going to give this a wipe and we'll try a different stamp. Uh, I just, honestly, I'm, I'm lost without the chaos. I'm trying to be a better organised person, but really it doesn't work. Let's see, which one can we use? That one's a nice one. Is that the same size as that one now? It is. 
Um, I mean, we could use the longer one as well. That might look quite nice, actually, because we'll be able to stamp that twice. And it's still going to look quite nice. Yeah, we'll use that one as well. So let's do that one first. I love this stamp set. It's absolutely lovely. I mean, everything Tim Holtz is great. <laughs> I don't think I've had one thing that I didn't like. Um, but this one particularly, I love it. Oh, there's the birds running across the roof. Sometimes they like they run across as though they're wearing pit boots. They're not the delicate little creatures that you think they are. <laughs> I'm like, blimey, have you been to work in the pits today? <laughs> I'm loving the way this pattern works with the, um, the stamping motif. It's lovely. I'll do another one like that. Okay. So yeah, so Kestrel <laughs> flying around attacking everybody's um, nests and the owls um, came back which I'm over the moon with because they did go missing for a year. They live in, we've got a church at the back of us, you'll probably be able to hear the church bells going right now. Um, but they live in the church tower along with the bats because we get bats in the garden on a night and um and they're lovely them i love watching them fly around um they're so fast catching all the little moths and everything absolutely gorgeous things but um yeah so oh it's it's, it's only a young kestrel as well you can tell it's it hasn't got much experience because an older kestrel i think wouldn't make the mistake of going after magpies <laughs> I think a, an older kestrel would um, have more sense than to bother them because <laughs> they're not gentle birds, magpies, <laughs> they're certainly not. See if we can squeeze four onto this one. So yeah, we've got, <laughs> it's like, honestly, it's like War of the Birds in our garden. It's I, I should do a soap opera about birds because that's honestly what it's like. <laughs> Just birds and birds and all sorts of dramas going on. It's so much fun watching them. Oh my word, I love them. That looks great. I like that. And we've got four stamped on there. Right, let's do these smaller ones. Um, yeah. Oh, the dog just sits now because he's quite an old dog. Um, and he sits and every now and then he'll just look at me as if to say, you see what these fools are, on, are doing? Jumping about the garden like idiots. <laughs> <laughs> when he was younger, oh crikey, oh well that didn't do very good. When he was younger, he um, he used to chase them all the time and he soon learned his lesson. I'll just chop them down a little so we've got just two. Um, yeah, he's learned his lesson not to chase them because you can never catch them. I mean, we had a cat who was, um, oh my pookie, he was um, a lovely little thing but he was a hunter and he, he hunted everything and um, most of the birds wouldn't stay in the garden you know they wouldn't come where they knew there was a cat um, especially one that hunted so much but um, the magpies and the pigeons well the turtle doves I think they are they weren't the slightest bit bothered about the cat because they knew that <laughs> they were too big for him and too strong for him <coughs> oh excuse me um, so the dog learned very quickly if Puka can't catch it, I've got no chance. <laughs> yeah, he used to catch everything. We didn't have um, much, many birds in the garden for all the years we had him because uh, if they were fool enough, fool enough to come, well, they weren't there for very long. <laughs> I don't like that side of cats. I love, I do love cats, but I, I don't like the hunter side of them. <laughs> I mean, I know it's all nature and that, but. You know, I don't like the idea of them killing things. I might do, should I, um, hmm, I'm trying, I'm thinking now, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Let's have a look and see which other ones we've got. I don't know if that would fit that way. I'm just going to quickly try this. No. 
but it would be nice that way and it's a different type of stamp let's just put this one back and then give this one a wipe try and get all of that ink out so I don't want them getting stained and then we'll try this one but um, yeah so it's only this last couple of years um, since our pooks being gone that we are now actually getting an influx of birds and now the latest one a kestrel <laughs> i think as things you know get more busy again and there's more people about and more traffic it'll retreat back into the countryside because we're surrounded by countryside but we're, it's an urban area where i live there's plenty of countryside around now um, and I think it will eventually retreat <laughs> and find another hunting ground. <laughs> but yeah, it's been a fun few days. <laughs> I'll cut the end off that one. And we've got one left. Let's see. Whoops, a daisy. We'll just give this a nice stamp up. I might... Although I've, I've distanced them quite well, I think. I'm not going to bother distancing them anymore. But um, yeah, so that's the saga that's been going on. <laughs> the, the magpie birds are finally um, fledged and I think they've got another another nest full of eggs, which is why they've been going so mental at the, um, at the kestrel. So <laughs> yeah, the saga continues. But every now and then you just hear this tremendous uproar of cawing and shouting and, <laughs> and I'm like oh the kestrel's back because <laughs> it's very loud <laughs> there we go right I'll finish with them okay I'm just going to chop this down a little and the same with this one and I'll pop them into my scrap bag so that I can use them which of the ones need chopping down? I'll do this one. I might chop that one down just a little. Let's see. Actually, I'll leave that one. The rest of them seem okay. Right, now, here's for the fun part. The paper out post, when I watched the video, she used this to make it into a, ta a tag so let's let me show you what i mean so you start with your corners and this is probably something that you might have seen maybe i'd never seen it done before and until i saw it done i was like clueless and then when i saw it i was like oh, that's such a great idea yeah so <laughs> hence i'm sitting here making loads of them and then you just cut it try and line it up a bit better than i've just done but just get it so it's half a circle and these are just, it's just like a little hole punch, a single hole punch. I mean, I suppose you could do it with a double hole punch if that's all you had. You just have to be really careful which way you position things. Now, try and line them up. And there you're getting your nice ticket. Right, so we've got our first lot of tickets. Aren't they lovely? And like I say, you can use these for anything. You could fold this over to make it into a little piece of ephemera. You could even put it onto a um, paper clip and have it as a hanging paper clip, which I might do. So let's get the rest of these done. <laughs> I'm giving myself ideas already. You know what? I will cut this one down a little bit more because it is a little bit wide on that end. and it's a good way if you don't have the um the actual um die cut for the tickets this is a good way of making them and also if you don't have the stamps um i think what she did on the paper air post was she just used a marker to draw around the tag shape um, and it looks really good i i liked it and she did some also some freehand drawing on them and um they turned out really cute so i'll, I'll pop that video down below 
because it was a good video um, and I enjoyed watching it. I think it's an old video as well. Every now and then I just get um, like memories that pop up, memory videos. So I might have watched it at some point and forgotten about it. Um, I don't know to be honest. So I'm just do a couple more of these and then we'll get on to decorating because you get the idea. I'm not going to sit here and cut them all out. We'll just decorate a few. And we might try that um, paper clip thing. If I can find me paper clips. <laughs> if I ever mention to you that I'm going to tidy up the craft room again, please comment on that video. Do not do it <laughs> because you'll never be able to find a thing again. <laughs> Oh, I knew when I was doing it, this was a big mistake. <laughs> going to have to try and remember where everything is. I'll just get used to it and then I'll get the crazy idea to tidy up again and then I'll lose everything again. You know where I'm like, I'm terrible. So where was those big ones? Oh, there's the dog barking. Someone must be home. Um, so yeah, don't let me do it again, guys. If I mention it, say no <laughs> there we go they look quite cute i like them with them being a bigger size i'm not even bothered that i've stamped it off the side i might do these ones as well and there might be an easier way of doing these if you've if you've got a different way that you do your tags then um let me know because uh, it's you know i like trying new ideas and new ways of doing things Hi, sweetheart. Hi. That was work. All right. Good. Come on, Dexie. That's just me daughter coming in. Go on, Dexie. Bark a lot. He's such a barker at the minute. He never used to bark, you know. He was always such a quiet dog. But as he's turned into this grumpy old man, he's, he just barks all the time. <laughs> Right, I think we'll leave those ones till later. And then we can maybe look at these. So, I think those were the ones I'm just going to try and organise. They were the ones that were going to be the... Do they look too big for belly bands? Have I cut them wrong? Let me measure them. Because for some reason, I feel like they're too big. That's six. No, that's right, eight and a half. They might be slightly big, but oh well, not to worry. Right, so we've got uh, lots of uh, lovely tickets and now we can decide what we're going to do with them. Now this one, wouldn't it be nice to make it into like an accordion, a little accordion book? There's a thought now. Right, I'm going to try this. I hope it all lines up. <laughs> Maybe I should have folded it first and then cut the um, the pieces but that's okay that's okay it doesn't matter if it doesn't all line up and then there's the last one and then that can be like an accordion and you've got all that journaling space so let's get that inked up and then I might put a little tie on it as well because I think that'll look cute with a nice tie on it. And then that would be a nice little piece of ephemera, wouldn't it? I've just been dying to try this. I mean, I have made the, the two um, before, I, before I started filming because I just wanted to make sure I had the method down. But now that I've made them, I've got all these wonderful ideas buzzing that I think I can do with them and now I just want to try them all <laughs> all at the same time <laughs> yep this could be a long video <laughs> it could be <laughs> are you settled to get yourself a cup of tea because we could be here a while <laughs> or I might split it into two different um, videos <laughs> rather than boring you all for hours <laughs> Right, okay. <laughs> oh, dear me. Right, so. 
like I say I'm not that bothered if it doesn't match up did I have it the other way I had it the other way that's why uh, so that's nice I like that and then it's going to fold out I mean you could even glue that side into the book and have that be like a fold out but I think because I've got this tiny little bit of um, ribbon here waiting for something to do with it what I might do is just run a little bead of glue along the back and let's glue this on now let's just squidge that about a bit okay I'm going to leave that to dry for a bit before we do anything else with it but there's one project underway now these um, belly bands so let's start off by distressing them and then we can decide what we're going to do I kind of like the idea of maybe doing a little bit of a, a bling bling something different for me but I don't know I think it'll look nice with the tickets and with the distressing you know it's like I, like I said I, I do love that juxtaposition between um, bling and grunge or um, chic and grunge you know that kind of shabby chic should we call it <laughs> not that we're supposed to know because apparently it's copyright and you're not supposed to use that word yeah right <laughs> it's a concept not a word <laughs> that's just my little bit of rebellion <laughs> there we go okay so let's see let's see now I've got some lace and I've got some bits of fabric and I've got me me fun jar of bits of all sorts there's flowers and fabric and lace and ribbon and all sorts in there all little bits so and I've got these lovely flowers here and then I do have some more flowers where did I put them so I've got these and we have we have some bling and we have some bows so let's think let's think well I like what I did with the other one by layering up so let's get a little bit of layering going so I'm going to cut this into two strips this is coming so handy this and then we've got another strip for that one right so we'll start with a I think I want to decorate in the middle just because with it being a belly band I think it'll look, it'll look better in the middle these I think will be two dimensional for a belly band so I'm going to put them aside these are alright because they're quite flat and these ones again are quite flat I quite like the idea of that blue one yeah I quite like that and then maybe should we use some lace again well I might do I do like this lace but you know what I might do I might cut it down the middle just to make it a bit thinner there we go and then sit that there like that and I quite like that I might run a stitch along there I don't think I want to sew around the tickets themselves but I quite like that that's great again with that one and we could put another one of those on oh and that gem matches the colour of the paper I like that a lot so there's two what about these bowls let's see if I can go into them <laughs> I think they were supposed to um, have little sticky dots on them but the sticky dots have fallen off because they're so old I got them off my mum, she used to um, have, well she used to decorate dolls houses so she used to use them for Christmas decorations on the trees so that's where they came from I kind of like it but it needs something else and maybe a bit of bling in the middle let's put a little bit of bling in the middle and see what that looks like 
Oh, that, that looks a bit better. I'm liking it. Maybe a little bit more of the... Or maybe I shall have a look in here and see if we've got like some fabric scraps. Because it might be that a, a scrap of fabric might work. Um, I've got the edge strips off some um, paper, off some um, fabrics. So let's have a look at them. And then what else do we have? Oh, you look good. I like you. I hope this is, I know this is out of, um, out of um, focus. Uh, I do apologise. I kind of like you actually. Let's, uh, let's try you on there. Yeah, I kind of like that. Yeah, I think that looks quite nice. Um, do we need anything else? Maybe one of these edge strips might work. I'm just going to cut this bit off. And then let's pop it underneath this lace to cover the white edge. Yeah, I'm liking that. That's cute. Cute, cute. Now this one. We've got this edge strip, but it's more white than anything else. And the other one is, let's see, that's the same. It's more white than anything else. But I do like the, the writing on that one. So, let's use some of that writing. It's just the information about the fabric, you know, where it was printed, who print, who made it, what the name of it was. And often they'll have like a little colour chart as well. Um, just so that you can, you know what the colours have been used. But I kind of like the, the, the writing on that one, so we'll use that one. And pop this down like that. don't want to cover up too much of that writing. And then the flower on top and then you're still getting bits of the writing i like that yeah they look cute and it's nice on like with the bling especially on top of the the tickets because it's kind of that nice like i say that juxtaposition that uh, makes things look good right let's get the sewing machine and i'll run a quick stitch up there when i move everything out of the way <laughs> got the place a mess right we'll take our flower off I'm just going to quickly run a stitch along here. I am still on the green thread, but I don't suppose it'll matter too much. I mean, I could switch it to a brown thread, but I don't think it really matters. Right, I'm just going to run a quick stitch. So I think I'll just um, sew them all while I'm on, and then we've got, they're all done. So I'm just going to... I might do a zigzag down this one because I want to catch um, both, the, both the lace and the fabric without having to overlap them too much. So let me just go in place. Uh, zigzag. Okay. There's that one done. I just I've got so many ideas for these things because I just think that they're just a, a really nice idea. Um, there's so much you can do with them, and I'm really looking forward to playing with them. So I think I might end up doing a couple of videos with these actually. Because the more I'm making them, the more ideas are coming to me. Let's just move the sewing machine. There we go. Right, now, I'm just going to snip these wires if I can find my scissors. Got them. <laughs> I can hear the birds are starting again. <laughs> oh, I feel for them though, you know, they've spent ages making those nests and... Um, and building them all up and everything and all of a sudden a kestrel comes along and no more no more security I guess like I say the owl because we, we have got an owl but he never normally 
or sh they I should say because it's a pair they never normally bother the, um, the birds because like I say they're nocturnal so you don't really see them that much um, and I guess the birds don't either so right let's see where did we put everything did I, I had that there I think I had that there and we had this here and we had the bling on there but the bling's disappeared I've lost it not to worry I've got plenty more so I'm just going to put a dot did I lose it no it's not it's there I'm going to put a dot anyway um, just because although it's got the sticky thing on the back you know they're, they're not very um, secure it's okay if you're doing things with paper but seeing as I'm putting it onto fabric I want to make sure it's nice and secure Anyway, that should do. Now, I don't know if I should maybe do a couple. Or maybe that's just enough. You know what, I'm just going to do this. And then if I decide to put any more on later, then I can. I quite like just having the bow on. I think it's quite cute. I'm just going to hold it for a minute. Just because I think, it, you know, it needs a little bit extra time. And you don't want to stick, do you? Put a big dollop of glue on. Hopefully that'll do it. There we go. There we are. We had a lovely day at the beach the other day. Um, there's this fantastic beach near us and it's just um, a beautiful, beautiful place. Um, beautiful yellow sand and miles of beach. And the tide had gone out and it had left little rivers and, and little pools. And the sun was so hot that it had warmed them up. Oh, it was like stepping into a hot bath. It was absolutely glorious. And um, I was standing in the waves and <laughs> bear in mind, it's still the North Sea, which is notoriously cold. But um, it wasn't too bad. <laughs> I didn't get cramping me down <laughs> this time. It wasn't too cold. But it was just lovely to stand feeling um, the sand etch away with the waves while the, the water washes over your feet. It was just so lovely. And so we spent about an hour just walking along the beach and paddling in pools and walking through the waves. And I got my leggings completely soaked even though I'd pulled them all the way up. But you know, <laughs> you can't go home dry from the beach, can you? Um, yeah, it was really, really nice. I'm gonna just hold that down with that because I'm getting stuck to it and pulling it up. Um, so yeah, it was really, really nice and I really enjoyed it. It was so much fun. And we've decided we're going to go back this weekend for a picnic because the weather's supposed to be really good. So I'm going to spend the day at the beach. I might take my journal with me and do some journaling on the beach. Um, why not? There we go. So we've got our three belly bands and I quite like the way they've turned out. So that's really good. We'll pop them aside. And then we'll go back to seeing if this ribbon is dried yeah it's dried now if we just tie this in a little bow if i can tie it in a little bow not always the best at tying bows but and i'm not going to manage it this time come on oh there we go and there's a nice little bit of ephemera so you could pop that in just in a pocket and it's a few tickets together and they're, they're just going to be a nice little piece of ephemera. So there's another project with them. Now let's see, what was the other one I was going to do? Yes, I was going to do, let me just move this bling. I wanted to have a look at, and I think I've, aha, found them. I've got some nice paper clips and these are quite big ones. Let's get them all untangled. And they're a coppery colour which I really like. So let's see, we could do like a nice little altered paper clip. Well, first of all, let's get this, let's get this all distressed. And then we can pop it onto our paper clip. See how versatile these are. They're just, there's so much you can do with them. I'm loving them. Thank you very much, Paper Eight Pass, because you've uh, you've given me great ideas here. Right, 
Now, let's make sure we're folded right. And if we just pop that onto our paper clip, there we are. And then I think a little dab of glue. Where's my glue? There it is, I see it. Doesn't need a lot of glue, just a little dab. And then we can decorate it. So let's see. Um, how about we use? I've just got not this ephemera pack, and there's some lovely butterflies in here. So how about we use one of these? Yeah, I kind of like that. Just needs a little something behind it. Um, where's our fabric that we had? Uh, let's see. Do we have anything in our jar? just going to rake about in the jar for a minute and see if I can find anything. Um, Mom. Hi. Oh, sorry. What's up? I'm going. Okay then, darling. Have fun. Bye. I love you. Okay. Oh, we've got... What's this? That's... Aha. What's this little scrap? doesn't have to be anything big. I just want a little scrap. okay I kind of like that yeah my daughter's going off to see our friends it's the first time she's seen them since before lockdown um, they've put all the all the tables and chairs in the garden and they're gonna have a social distance evening um, so they're gonna sit and have a, a good old natter <laughs> um, so she's excited because uh, do you know it's been hard I think you know especially on the kids because they're so used to being social I mean everybody's you know well not everybody but a lot of people are social people but um yeah i think the kids especially have, have suffered you know i'm quite happy to have a night <laughs> a, a month of nights at home <laughs> chilling out and not having to worry about things but you know i think the kids it's it's a it's a big ask to go for or is it now nearly three months i think it is yeah um, without seeing the friends and we'll pop that I might put a little bit skewy there we go and there's a nice little altered paper clip with those lovely tickets ticket on one side and a little butterfly on the other there's another project cool we're getting there right what we've we got left let's see well, I'm thinking we could use these, if we, even, especially if we layered them up, you could use them as a pocket, couldn't you? Hmm, I don't know. I think I would have to put them onto a book page or something to make them look like a pocket. But I do like the idea. Oh, you know what? That might be a fun idea. Okay. All will be revealed. All will be revealed. Let's get some ink. And then this will be another, a nice another little piece of um, ephemera. Oh, I'm really enjoying myself with these. <laughs> And all the projects come into mind I'm like oh we could do that we could do this we could do that we could try that that'd be fun <laughs> okay so we have some little scraps of paper and I am going to tear some scraps of paper I bet you can see where I'm going with this one because I think this is going to make an ideal little um, notebook and it'll just sit nicely in a pocket okay a 
and they don't all have to be the same size or the same width let's just there we go And they're just going to sit in there like that and I think what I'll do is once I get them all lined up properly it doesn't matter if it's not perfect I'm just echoing that shape and then I'm going to quickly sew this along the middle seam and then that will give us our little book. So I'll just do that quickly. Sorry I'm off camera but it means I can get it done quick and we only need a couple of stitches. There we go. Okay. And there's our book. And now I'm going to just close it up and see if I can't line this up. Yep. Get it all emptied. Right. And. Our little trim. Get all these little bits out of the way. <laughs> I always forget to empty them and then they get stuck. And there we are, we've got a nice little notebook that we can pop into a, a pocket. I love that bit, that's, that's absolutely a great idea. I love it. So there's another one. Okay, we've got one left. Come on, let's think of one more thing we can do. Let's think. We could make it a cluster, couldn't we? Because I think these would look really cute being a cluster. Okay, so let's get some bits of stuff. Now I'm going to get my little jar. And let's just pull a few bits out so I can see what I'm doing. Oh, I've got some paper in there as well. Um, I think I like that. A nice little bit of lace um, that's nice and I like the colours that's always useful I'm just going to pull a few bits out and then we can decide which ones we want to use just because I can't really see what's in there until I open it all up and see I've just got <laughs> as you can see things just crammed in there <laughs> oh I like that fabric um, do we have some more lace we do and oh organza ribbon okay I think one last bit and I think that the rest of that can go back in I'm going to have to sit down one day and just make loads of clusters because this jar is just so packed with stuff and it's just there's all sorts of bits and pieces in there and um, I'm forgetting to put them in right now I've just got bits everywhere right okay let's see where are we now I did like this I might just put that on like that actually you know I just don't like that edge there so let's just cut that off and then we can just give that yep I like that and I like it that way um uh, maybe we could do just a little strip of this maybe it doesn't have to be perfectly straight yep i'm liking that 
I do like their organza ribbon, but I think it's too straighty straight. <laughs> too straighty straight. <laughs> Alice left a comment. Hi, Alice, um, about my um, vocabulary. Skewy fin higgledy piggledy in there. <laughs> That's not even the half of it. <laughs> I get worse. I love colloquialisms though, I really do, and I, I just pick up on like different, um, especially different um, dialect, you know, and the, the different way people say different things, and um, it's just, yep, that's me. <laughs> right, I'm liking that, but I want to give it a focal point, so what focal point can I give it? Now, I've got one of these left, but that's just too big. And I don't want to like drown it out. I wonder if there's anything in our little ephemera bag. Um, how about a little flower? That's a bit too big. Let's see what other ones we've got. Um, I don't want to go that way. Might be easy if I just grab a few out, mightn't it? That's too big. That's nice, I like that. I'm liking it. I'm just not 100% sure on the colour. Don't like that. I mean, there's that one. Oh yeah, that that's it. The colour's perfect. I love it. Yeah, that's the one. Love these little ephemera packs. I can't remember the name of the shop I got it from. If I remember, I'll pop it down below the video. Um, right. Okay. So I am. You know what? I'm going to just sew this one straight across in a straight stitch, and that's going to be a nice cluster. I'm going to do it off camera so it won't be a second and then I'll show you what it looks like. So I'll make sure I go it all in. Oh that looks great. Right and so there's another one. So the the, the possibilities with these tickets are just endless and I mean look at these we've made let's see how many have we made we've just in just in this one video we've made one two three four five different ideas out of these lovely um, ticket strips and I know you can buy the strips of tickets but um, they usually come on that um it's almost like construction paper um and it's just not solid enough so doing it out of the scrapbook paper gives you that extra toughness and i just i'm in love with these ideas i just think they're great i mean that's just so cute and then these belly bands are just stunning they're gorgeous so i'll give them a go um i'll pop the link down below to the original video do give it a look because the way she does them is great and i think there's a couple of other people maybe has done them um if you if you just type into to youtube um ticket making um ephemera i suppose it would bring you up some more ideas um or something like that some ephemera with tickets i don't know um but yeah so how versatile are they so sit and make yourself a few strips and then you get to play with them that's great so i hope the birds haven't been too noisy <laughs> or they're having a right old battle out there at the minute um and i hope that you've enjoyed that and uh, stay healthy stay safe and happy crafting bye